Hi, I'm Tess Schultz with Tulip Square, and today I'm going to show you how to make this quilt block. Now, I have heard this called doves at the window, doves in a window, the dove window. <laughs> but I've also seen a very different block, and that's also called doves at the window. So I don't know who's in charge of naming these things, but and it seems to me that anything with the four, you know, bird shapes like this flying towards a square in the middle, no matter what the size is, can all qualify as doves at the window? I don't know. If anybody knows the secret behind that, let me know. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> so this is my version, and I'm calling it the 3D Dove Window, because that seems to be appropriate enough. And let's head over to the sewing machine, and I'll show you how it all goes together. For our first color, the lightest color, we've got 12 of these two and a half by four and a half inch pieces and four two and a half inch squares. Then for your medium color, you have 16 two and a half inch squares and also 16 two and a half inch squares of your darkest color. And then one four and a half inch square of whatever your center is. Now you can use one of these colors for your center or one of these two, or you can just use an accent color like I did or you could even fussy cut something fun for the middle. Or if you were making a quilt or a runner or something, you could make each center a different color. Lots of options here. So to start with, we are going to take all of our four and a half inch lightest pieces and we're going to sew. We're going to make flying geese, but we're going to make two colored flying geese. So we're going to start off by sewing the darkest square to the left hand side. You're going to sew right along here diagonally. Now you're going to have four of the dark squares left over at the end of this step but we'll use those soon enough. So right now we're going to cut these corners off and press them toward the corner. Now you may have noticed an extra seam there before I cut that and I do that on purpose so that I can save this half square triangle for another project and I talk all about that in an upcoming video so watch for that give you lots of ideas for what to do with those extra corners now you have these pieces and you're going to sew the medium colored square to the opposite corner right along this way you're going to do that with all of these. And again, you'll have four extra of this color square as well that we're about to use. And now we're going to cut off all of these corners and press them toward the corner and we'll be right back. I, I will be right back. I'm not sure why I keep saying we. It's for all the different personalities living in my head, I guess. Now I have 12 flying geese now you have a few of these left and we're just going to pair these up so diagonal line right down the middle and we're just going to cut one corner off and press those toward the dark color okay now you have your flying geese you have four of these now you have four of your lightest color square and you have your center so we're going to start with the center and we're going to sew one of two of the flying geese, one on either side, like that. The triangle's pointing outwards, so I'm just going to sew a nice quarter inch seam there and one there. Now we're going to press that and set that aside for a moment. I'm going to work on the next strip. There'll be two of these. So you're going to match up your flying geese with these half square triangles. Put the dark triangle with the medium triangle on both of them. And then put the medium triangle to the dark side on both of them. Just like that, okay? Two of those stripes. Put that over. Sew it right there. Put this over. Sew it right there. Now I'm going to press those 
and I'll be right back with the next step. Did I mention which way I pressed? I pressed this piece toward the center and then I pressed these pieces away from the center so that for this next step they will all nest together nicely. So the next step is this. Take this piece that we made and put one of these at the top and one at the bottom. Make sure all of these light triangles are pointing away. So we're going to put that right there. So a nice quarter inch seam there. And here, a nice quarter inch seam. Now we're going to press that and we're going to make the next piece. The next piece is simple. You're going to take the rest of your flying geese that you have left, pair them up side by side, and sew them together. Do that with all the rest. And now you have four of these strips and on two of them you're going to put a light colored square at each end and sew that on. Seam there and one there. Now I'm going to press these and I'll be right back to put the whole thing together. Okay now we have the center square which is pretty cute already, isn't it? And we're going to take these two shorter strips that we made. We're going to make sure the white triangles are to the outside. We're going to line it up like this so the mediums match and the darks match. And we're going to sew that right along there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, matching up these colors with the white to the outside. Just like that. Okay, now I'm just going to press that and I will be back with the final step. There's your center. And now we have our final strips and we're going to add that. Make sure the white is to the outside and line up these colors here. I'm going to sew that right there. Line up these seams and do the same thing at the top, lining that up with the white to the outside. Sew it right there. Okay, one final press and there it is. And there you have it, all done. The doves in the window, at the window, near the window, hovering around the window, whatever they're doing at the window. <laughs> that's how they are. And make sure you download our PDF that's got all of the cutting instructions that you need. And we also show different examples of how it could look in different configurations. So we generally do that on all of our PDFs. So if you want an idea of how it would look in a quilt or on a runner or something, make sure you grab those PDFs and check that out, okay? so. If you like this block in this video hit the little like button subscribe to our channel um, make sure you hit that little bell so you're notified every time we put up a new video and check out our website at tulipsquare.com where you'll find all our videos all of our patterns all of our free patterns our quilt blocks everything's there for you so check that out tell all your quilting friends and happy sewing <laughs>